name is Aaron. This is my 12th video about Crunch Labs. I get a box every month and build a machine. I will share with you the science and physics I learned from it. The machine for this month is a stomp rocket. Now I will open the box. Here are the instructions and here are the pieces. These are all the pieces. I will build it now. It's done. This is the stomp rocket. There are six nozzles attached to a wheel. You can put rockets on the nozzles. The wheel tries to spin after you wind it up because of a rubber band in the back. There is a blocker here blocking the fin of one of the rockets. The fin prevents the wheel from turning. When you hit this bulb, it forces air through this nozzle on the bottom and then this nozzle on top and into the rocket, launching the rocket out. Once the rocket gets launched, the wheel can spin to the next rocket and align the nozzles. This is the board where you put gear badges on. There are 11 badges from the months before that say flywheel, ratchet, momentum transfer, linkages, projectile motion, light refraction, mirrors, worm gears, belts, and the koan effect, and springs. The badge for this month is compressed air. Compressed air is the main topic for this month. When you hit the bulb, it forces air into the rocket, shooting it out. Compressed air is air kept under a pressure that is greater than atmospheric pressure. The air inside the container is squeezed together more and wants to spread out until it is at the same pressure as the outside. When there is something in the way of the air, it goes with the air and gets launched out. Compressed air is used in pneumatic actuators. If you push air into it, the actuator extends. Compressed air is used in a lot of Mark Rober's videos, like his giant Nerf gun in Super Soaker, where he uses compressed air to launch either giant foam bullets or water. He also used air to launch snowballs out in his snowball cannon, and used air blowing up to liquefy the sand in his liquid sand hot tub. Finally, he used compressed air to blow on the world's largest horn. Compressed air is an important approach to transfer energy for industrial purposes. They are used in manufacturing to do all sorts of tasks, like opening or closing valves or doors, lifting things, and more. Also, they are used in power tools like jackhammers, vacuum pumps, and some nail guns. This is my 12th subscription of Crunch Labs, a stomp rocket. I hope you learned something about compressed air. Please subscribe, like, and share.